Welcome to Collaborative Genealogy with Evernote. I'm Lisa Louise Cook, host of the Genealogy Gems podcast and the Family Tree Magazine podcast, and I invite you to visit me at my website, genealogygems.com. You know, genealogy is often a team sport. We certainly enjoy the fact that we can work on it from the comfort of our own home uh, online for much of the time and certainly doing a lot of legwork for the trips that we make to the various archives and libraries. But it's really difficult to find the answers that we're looking for without turning to other friends and relatives and genealogists, people who can help put their heads together and come up with either an innovative strategy or just an answer to a burning question. Evernote certainly makes collaborating so much easier. And in particular, it does so through the use of shared notes and through notebooks. So in this presentation, we're going to talk about ways that you can share notes with Evernote. And then we'll move on to notebooks. But let's start with you simply the notes that you create in Evernote. Now there are several ways that you can share notes through Evernote.com and just to recap, Evernote is a cloud-based uh, website service that allows you to take all kinds of notes, whether it's handwritten, typed up, uh, audio, photography, or even web clippings. You can create those notes in your account on their website, but more often than not, you'll be creating them in the desktop software that you download to your computer. And again, that's absolutely free. And then also working with it on your mobile devices using the free Evernote app. And as you create these notes, you're going to find more and more that you're going to want to be able to share them with the greater genealogical community. So a couple ways you could do that first and foremost through email. And that's a wonderful way to be able to get in touch with other specific individuals, you know, other genealogists, other family members, and uh, very simple. We'll show you how to do that. But you can also put it out to social media. And I like to call this the collective genealogical brain trust. You know, this is where we can all pull together online, no matter what time zone we're in, where we're located, and everybody has something to contribute, a little bit of expertise of their very own. And places like Facebook and Twitter, even LinkedIn, are ways for us to connect with each other and also to get our messages out, to get our questions out there, to hopefully see if somebody out there in the social world uh, knows the answer, can get back to us and give us some clues. And Evernote makes it very simple to be able to uh, directly post onto these various social media websites. But it also assigns a unique URL address to every note that you create in Evernote. And it gives you the ability to copy the note URL address to your computer's clipboard. And by being able to do that, you can then not only put it into an email, but you could add it to your own genealogy blog. Uh, you could send it to people, whatever way you want to communicate so somebody else can access a particular note online. Using that URL address, being able to copy it to your clipboard makes it very easy to do that. So how to share a note? Here's the rundown. Up in the menu of your Evernote software program, on your computer, you're going to go to Note and select Share and then copy URL to clipboard. You don't really see anything happen when you do this, but in the background, it does copy that. Actually, it's a very long, complicated URL address for each note. It's going to copy that to your clipboard. And so you can then go to your web browser, whichever one that you use, or perhaps you might go into a new email message and you can paste the URL address, even though you don't see it yourself. You just do control V on your keyboard and that will paste it. Then anybody who receives that notes URL address who has access to it is going to be able to access the note through their web browser simply by clicking it. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Here we are in Evernote and let's say there's a particular census record that I want to be able to share. So here I've selected it here. I'm going to click share. 
I, you can see I can send directly by email, post it onto social media, but in this case, I'm going to copy the URL to my clipboard. Now, let's say I go over to Word, and I wanna get this URL into a Word document. I just paste it with that control V, and you can see it's a quite a long URL address, pretty difficult for somebody to copy. Click it, and instantly it's going to open my computer's web browser and display the note. Isn't that fascinating that each individual note can have its own URL address? Go back to Note, Share, and you can click Stop Sharing, and that makes the URL address no longer active. If we go back to Word and we try to click this address, look what happens. It says, no, nope, sorry, we went to the web browser. It's, there's no web page to open. If you actually go to the web browser and just refresh it, you'll find the note is not found. So it can be instantly deactivated, made non-public online. So you do have control when you share your notes as to when they can be accessed. Now there is an alternative way to share a note. You saw how we went up into the menu, but you can also simply pull up the desired note in Evernote. And then in the header of that note, that you'll notice that there is a share button and you can click the share button right in the note and those same sharing options will appear. I think you'll find over time, this is actually the quicker way to go and certainly that seems to be the default way that I tend to use to share notes. And with that, you're off to a great start. Genealogy Gems Premium members can sign in at genealogygems.com and complete the rest of this 30 minute class right now. I've got lots more to share, including some project tips for your family history research. Not a Genealogy Gems Premium member yet? Well, we can fix that. Click the link in the description below this video to sign up. For the cost of one video class in some genealogy online stores, you're going to get all of my instructional videos and the handouts, plus our exclusive premium podcast with an archive of over 100 episodes. We only cover the best of the best here at Genealogy Gems when it comes to family history. So save yourself some time and join us as a premium member. Thanks so much for listening, friend. I'll talk to you soon.